steady, said Ben. But Whistle Jacket was hard to control. Ben was flung up into the air and landed on a hill covered in soft flowers and that Katie had drawn. Oh, he gasped. Perhaps I'm not very good at this either. So they left Whistle Jacket to gallop around his new world and jumped back into the gallery. I still don't know what job will be best for me, sighed Ben. I could become a painter like Papa, said a little girl from a picture. It was called The Painter's Daughters Chasing a Butterfly by Thomas Gainsborough. Come and see, said the girl's sister. So Ben and Katie climbed inside the picture. The girls showed Ben their father's paintings. They were nearly all portraits of them. You could try to paint us as well, suggest the girls. I don't know how to paint, said Ben. Here, have my crayon, said Katie. Try drawing instead. Ben tried to draw the girls as they chased butterflies, but he found it very hard. Oh, it's no good, he said. I don't think I could be an artist either. Never mind, giggled the girls. Come and chase butterflies with us. It's really good fun. Ben was rather good at catching butterflies with his hat. But I can't do that for a job, can I? He asked. Well, said the girls. You could be an explorer and discover rare insects and birds. I could sail around the world to faraway islands, said Ben. And I know where to find a ship, said Katie. Come on. They said goodbye to the girls and jumped into the gallery. When Katie showed Ben a painting of a ship called The Fighting Temeraire by J. D. M. W. Turner. That's perfect for an adventure, said Ben, as they climbed through the frame. It was evening in the painting and the sun was slowly setting over the sea. Katie saw a rowing boat tied to a jetty. Let's row out to the big ship, she said. When they reached the ship, they climbed aboard. It was a very old ship and no one had used it anymore. So they had it all to themselves. Ahoy there, shouted Katie, climbing the rigging. Shiver me timbers. Hoist the mainsail, laughed Ben from the deck. They explored all over the ship, but then Ben heard distant sounds drifting across the sea from the gallery. I'd know that some sound anywhere, he said. It's my sheep. I must go and find them. It sounds like your sheep are calling for you, said Katie, as they rode back to the picture frame. <gasps> Perhaps I've left the gate open, said Ben. In the gallery, they found Ben's sheep waiting. I must get them home before dark, he said. Ben whistled to Rex and together they rounded up the sheep quickly and neatly in front of the cornfield picture. In you go, Ben said, and he counted them one by one. I think you've found the perfect job, said Katie. You're right. I love being a shepherd after all, said Ben. He gave Katie her crayons back and I think you should be an artist. Perhaps one day you'll have a painting in the gallery. Perhaps one day I will, said Katie waving goodbye. Katie found Grandma still snoozing on the seat. How can you sleep when the gallery is so exciting, said Katie. You don't know what you're missing. Well, you know what they say about counting sheep, said Grandma, and how it helps you fall asleep. Grandma, said Katie, did you? Did I see any sheep? Asked Grandma, smiling. Now, that would be telling, wouldn't it? That's the end, guys. I hope you've enjoyed these Katie stories by James Mayhew. I'll try and bring them into, well, I will bring them into school for you all to see if you want to. Um, and you can you can read them yourselves have a lovely day stay safe be good be kind and i'll see you see you next week okay bye